Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Battling Brushes. This episode of, of Battling Brushes is going to be a little bit different than the other ones because we won't actually be doing any painting in this one. Uh, but because of the nature, kind of off the beaten path for most board gamers and that type of thing, um, Age of Sigmar, this is the game that we're going to be painting and playing through at the end of the month, actually probably the first of December, first part of December. Um, we thought we would just give a basic introductory episode, maybe two of them, that just give you a, a very general um, swath of how Age of Sigmar plays. And this is the first of what I think is going to be about two videos uh, concerning that. This episode is going to be con concerned mainly with the um, main phases of the game. How you move, uh, how you battle, how you can retaliate. Uh, retreating, that type of stuff. And so that's what we're going to be talking about here this this episode. There is going to be another Battling Brushes episode this week, uh, probably coming out on Saturday or something to that effect. I don't know exactly when it's going to come out, but uh, that will have some painting in it, and uh, we'll see you there as well, hopefully. So let's throw it over to Rob, and he will take care of uh, explaining some of the very basic introductory rules for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Take it away, Rob. Thanks so much, Sam. So I'm here to explain the rules for you guys. There are some major changes. So if you are a former um, Warhammer or 40K or, or even fantasy player, you'll see that this is a very simplified system made so anybody can play it. The area that you need, it can be anywhere from 2x2, two two, you can make it all the way up to 4x6. It really depends on what you want to do and how invested you want to get. Inside the box, you get plenty of stuff to play a game. Now, normally you would set up and have different types of uh, terrain, but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the very basic rules here and so you guys can follow along and, and make a determination if this is the type of game for you. Not only that, but it'll make it easier when Sam and I do our playthrough at the end of the month. Now everything is broken up into different phases. Normally you would have a bunch of different units and the way things go, whoever rolls and wins initiative for that turn gets to move one unit and then the other side would get to use one of their units. They will alternate back and forth until everybody has moved. If you have more units left on the field, then you would be able to finish once the other person has completed and moved every unit that they have. Movement phase. So the person that had one initiative would get to move his unit first. For instance, the Blood Reavers, let's say, Chaos was able to uh, win the initiative and they get to move their unit first. Their movement is six inches. So you would measure out six inches and then basically move up your entire unit. Now in doing this, once this is done, you would carry out the next part of your phase, shooting phase. Since the Blood Reavers are only a melee combat unit, they have a range of one. So they would not be within range of the Liberators here. If they were within 12 inches at the beginning of their turn, they would be able to charge. And by charging, you would take two dice, roll them together, and that's how far you would go. In this case, the Blood Reavers would move five inches, which means they would have come up short and the charge would have failed, leaving them wide open to the Liberators. After you decided your movement phase, your shooting phase, there is your combat phase. And what would happen is, if everybody was up against each other, and let's just say that, for time's sake, that the Blood Reavers were all in, in contact here, they would get to attack the Liberators. And we'll just move all these guys up here, like so. Combat is performed by making a hit roll, a wound roll, and then the defending player would get a save roll. And in that same instance, they would be able to attack back. So once they are locked in mortal combat, once they're all touching base to base, they are within one inch range. 
to attack. The Blood Reavers have one attack. Now, with that one attack, since there are 10 of them, that means there are 10 dice that they will roll. Their two hit value is four, so they need to get four or better on 10 dice. What would happen is they would roll, and you would take out all the things that are not four. As you see, this is a pretty good roll, and we achieved, actually, six hits. Now, that's not it. Now we have to see if we wound. To wound is four plus again. They would roll, and anything over four would do damage. So, essentially, two hits and two wounds would be applied. The rest of the dice did not make the characteristic. Now, the Liberators have a save throw. It is four plus. So, on two dice, they would roll, and as you can see, they have one save. So what would happen is, because they the Liberators have two wounds to them, one model would receive a wound. So you would put a die there to explain that. If there was more than that, then what would happen is, say we had three wounds, then we would take away one model and apply a wound to another soldier. Now, once once the combat is complete, and in this case, since this gentleman has a wound on it, what we're going to do is retaliate. Now the Liberators, they get two attacks apiece. So that means ten attacks. And their characteristics are is that they need a four plus to hit. So again, we will roll ten dice. And with that roll, as you can see, at four plus, we got eight hits. Now, their characteristic is to wound three plus. So we roll all eight of these dice, and as you can see, we did quite a bit of damage. Now, we did three, six, seven. Now, all these guys only have one wound, one, one wound and they don't have any saves. Blood Reavers are very, very, very soft. So, seven of these models would go away. You would actually take them away, and you can pick which ones you want to go away. At the end of that roll, you would take whatever their bravery was. Their bravery is only a five. So you would roll one die, add the number, we have a five, 10, anything over that five is how many would run away. These guys would actually just leave the field. So this entire unit would have been destroyed just in that one turn. And that is how combat is done. So once combat has been resolved, it would be now the Stormcast turn, and they would be able to acti activate a unit and go after another bunch of models on the corn side. And that is the very basics of Warhammer Age of Sigmar. So what I'm going to do right now is send it back to Sam. I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial and if you have any questions please leave, leave them in the comments or as always get a hold of me either at my site or get a hold of Sam and we'll answer any questions that you have about Warhammer's Age of Sigmar. Thanks so much and Sam, why don't you take us out of here? Okay, and so there you have it. A uh, very basic, you know, uh, general swath of uh, introduction for Warhammer's Age of Sigmar. Next week, we'll come back and we'll talk about War Scrolls and Army Composition and all that other kind of stuff. Uh, like Rob said, it is quite different than uh, other products you may have had experience with in the past from Games Workshop and the Warhammer uh, series of games or system of games. So uh, turn in next time, probably not going to be next week because next week I'm going to be gone at Board Game Geek Con in Dallas, Texas. So if you're going to be there, uh, look me up and uh, maybe we can play a game or two. Um, but after that, then we'll come back and we'll be hitting it strong uh, on battling brushes. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the flip side, folks.
I'm Eric Sommerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.